Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a really cool request today. It is to draw a spider and in particular a wolf spider. I really enjoyed doing this one, so I hope you do too. Get yourself some plain white paper. You will need a pencil. I've actually used a ruler in this one, an eraser and a black pen. Don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. So we're going to start off our wolf spider by drawing a line down the middle. Now, this doesn't have to be straight. I'm just using a ruler just for ease. So this is going to help us make the spider symmetrical. So now we're going to draw a big oval shape. Again, this does not have to be perfect. It's just going to help us determine the length of all the different legs. So just draw it really lightly. I'm just going to do it a little bit. I'm going to press down a little bit more heavily just so that you can see it on camera. So there we go. A nice big oval shape. There we go. Looks a bit like an egg. All right. So next one, we're going to be doing the, it's, well, it's actually called the cephalothorax. There you go. Managed to say that in one go. And that's going to be like the, um, the top part of the spider. So we're going to be drawing another oval shape, just like this. There we go. One oval. I'm going to do an oval shape exactly the same size. I'm just going to measure really roughly using my fingers. I'm going to do another one exactly the same size just below. And this is going to be the abdomen. So the tummy, let's just draw another oval shape coming down. Remember, if I go too quickly, just pause and rewind. Okay, so now we've got the body part of the spider. We're just going to attach the two. So a little nice waist there. And we're going to do the head part. So just draw a shape like this. Okay, now we're going to draw the fangs, just two blobs, one like that and one like that, either side of this line. Okay, now we're just going to mark in where the legs are going to go. So we're going to start off with, if you can imagine there's a line cutting this oval in half, go a little bit lower, just to about here. We're going to draw two lines coming out to the sides. There we go doesn't have to be straight and it doesn't have to be perfect. And they're almost touching this larger oval shape. Okay, next we're going to draw the lower legs. So just here, I'm going to bring a line and then it's got a bend. And it's going to come down like this. And the same on the other side. Got a slight bend. And down again, almost touching but not quite. Now, on this side, we're going to start here, a line, and then it's going to go diagonally upwards like this, and it touches this oval shape. One on the other side, up like so, and touches the oval shape. Okay, we're getting there. So we're gonna do another one starting here, coming up, and then going almost directly upwards. And one over here. And going up like this. Then last but not least, got a little one just coming up and round. And on this side, it just goes up. Okay, so that's end of stage one. I'm now going to switch to pen, but please, please carry on in pencil. I'm only doing it in pen so that you can see it on camera. So just imagine I'm using a pencil. So a line coming across here and then we're going to do the upper part of the body. So it follows this oval shape that we were doing before, but it just comes out just slightly here and goes in a little bit more at the top, just like that. And it will be symmetrical on the other side. So it'll be the same, just like this. Okay. Now we're just going to do the outline of the head part. So it just comes round 
and in. Okay, and then the hairy fangs, and the same on the other side. Okay, so we're now actually going to add the eyes. So they're in rows of four, there are eight dark eyes. So slightly bigger ones, one, two, three, four, and then slightly smaller, one, two, three, four, just there. They've got incredible eyesight, these wolf spiders. Um, I think you can actually find them in Costa Rica, which is where my family's from. I haven't actually seen one in the wild, but um, I don't think I'd like to come face to face with one, to be honest. We did find a tarantula once in our house, which was a bit scary, but that's another story. So I'm just starting off here. Just draw like a little cone shape on that side. Another little cone shape on this side, like that. And for the legs, we're gonna do just, again, kind of, like what I can describe as a funnel shape like that on either side of this line that we've been doing. So another funnel shape on this side. Doesn't matter if they're all different sizes, as long as they're kind of the same. And for each leg, we're gonna do the same. So that's on that one. That's on this one. One for there, one for there, and then last but not least, one for here, and one for here. Okie dokie. Now we're going to go downwards, so we're going to do the abdomen. So again, it's not perfectly overall shaped, um, so we're just going to, it's got a little bump up the top and it goes out a little bit more and comes in a little bit more, if you can see that. So basically just a few wiggles in it. There we go. Okay. It's got these little funny things which are called spinnerets on the bottom. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We're going to finish off these legs, so Joining on from this little funnel shape, we're going to do another kind of tubular shape that follows the line that we drew before on either side of that line. And then we do one on the other side. It's helpful to do each side at the same time just so that you kind of keep the symmetry. Okay. Then there's a longer tubular shape and it comes up on this side. Just like that. And the same on this one. Make sure that they're roughly the same length. And that they're the same width as well. We've got one more little tubular one. And if you can notice, they're getting thinner as you go along, further along they are. Okay, and then the thinnest part, right at the tip. Okay, and then again here. Okay, I'm just going to finish these off. So this one's kind of curled round. So there's one little piece and then the other one kind of curls round like that. And then this one, similar, but you can't really see the other bit behind it. So it's just there. Okie dokie, so we're going to carry on with this leg now. So remember it's it's fatter at the bottom bit and then it gets thinner and thinner. So let's do it this bit first, which is a bit more chunky. And the same over here. Okay, now here it bends. So slightly thinner part here and longer. And the same on this side, thinner and longer. And then we've got the other one again, slightly thinner again. Same on this side. And then the little foot. Same on here. We're going to do these side ones now. So let's do the thicker part first. 
same on this side. Try and keep it the same on either side. Okay, and then this little thinner bit. Same on this side. Slightly smaller. And then last but not least, the little foot area. Okay, now we're on to the last ones. We're almost there. You are doing so well. You've showed up today. Let's finish this drawing. Okay, so this bit, you can actually see there's a joint area just here. Can you see that? And the same on this side. Just like that. So we're just going to join it up like that. Okay, so coming down, we've got the slightly thinner part. And the same here. And then again. Same here. Then this one. Then the same here. And then the little foot. Oops, I made that foot a little bit too long. So I'm going to make that one a little bit longer as well. Okay, now we're going to focus on doing some detail. So we're going to add lots and lots of hairy parts. So what I'm going to do before I do all the hairy parts, I'm going to erase all these pencil drawings so they don't get into our way. That looks so much better now. Okay, so we're going to add some little hairy bits. So just lightly using your pen. Or if you're carrying on in pencil, don't worry, that's absolutely fine. You can do this all in pencil as well. Then go over it in pen if you want to, but you don't have to. Just drawing lots of little hairy bits all over the legs. So just like that. They seem to get hairier the further along the leg that you go. So I'm just drawing lots of little dashes with my pen. Just like this. And then the hair seems to be a lot longer here at the top. And then it gets finer and thicker towards the bottom. That didn't really make sense, did it? I meant finer and lots more of it. <laughs> so just keep on going. I'm going to carry on doing this for each leg, so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit, okay?
Okay, so we've done all the hairy parts. Let's focus on the head and the body. So up here, we can just do the little eyes, just do like a little glint of white, just to show that there's a reflection in them. Just going over them again. Okay, so we're going to do the markings now. So on the top part, um, there is what looks like um, a Union Jack flag, which is quite interesting. So I'm just going to draw a line coming down and then one on this side. So there's a line running down the center, just using like these little um, white pen markings just to draw the line. And then we've got another one just coming, following the shape of the body. And then one coming on this side as well, just following the shape of the body, just doing these sketchy lines again. Okay, so now we start kind of the flag bit. So there's one coming up like this, another one coming in like this, another one here, another one here, one more, and then one at the bottom. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So try and keep it exactly symmetrical, but it really doesn't matter if it's not exactly, so don't worry. Random fact is that these spiders don't spin webs. Instead, they chase and then they pounce on their insect prey. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so these parts that I'm just doing little dots on, we're going to color them in. So just using your pen or your pencil, just draw lines in the same direction till they get darker and darker. Just like this. Just keep all your lines in the same direction. And the same on the other side. Okay, now for the abdomen part. So again, it's got some interesting markings. So marking comes down like this, comes down like this, and then goes round. Okay, got the same on the other side, goes in and then round. And then there's a part in the middle. So this line goes round and then the same on this side. Okay, so there's a line coming across like this, another one across like this, and then a few more getting closer together towards the bottom. There we go. So again, using our little kind of furry lines, just draw lots and lots of little hairs. Just coming down. Have a look at what I'm doing first and then um, try and do it on yours. Okay, just like that. We're going to do the same on the other side. Just lightly, just these kind of like wispy lines. These kinds of lines are great for showing that there's fur or hair or anything like that. And we're going to colour this bit in as well. Just again, using the same kind of pen markings. Just like that. Do it a little bit darker by going the other way. There we go. Okay, same here. Just lots of the same. Just doing these strokes downwards. And I'm going to go all the way down now. All the way down to the bottom. I'm just going to go over this area so it's a little bit darker. And then here as well. Under each line that I did before, I'm just going to make it slightly darker. There we go. There 
There we go. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to make these parts a little bit more hairy. Kind of, kind of left them out earlier. Just like that. We're almost there. We are so close to the end, it's unreal. So just keep on going. Okay, so last but not least, we're just going to do fangs area quite dark. So here's your finished wolf spider. You have done an amazing job. Well done for seeing it to the end. Don't forget to sign your name in the bottom right hand corner like a true artist. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit subscribe and like. And also I've got many other tutorials showing you how to draw insects and animals. So to discover how to draw a lion, click on the link just here. Thank you very much. Bye bye.